I think we are still running the ancient paddle boat, yeah. Probably about 80 years old now. Right, Newark, how are you doing? Right, they're now getting some food coming in. They're getting a nice boost from the uh, destinations. They've grown a bit already. One percent. One percent. Maybe there's not enough trucks on the line. Not retiring it. It needs to get to 100 years old. Five should be enough. They're pretty tapped out now. Okay, that's running fine. How's the food situation here? They're getting some, but not enough. Where's the train? That's a whole lot of grain. Look at that. That's money, that is. There you go. This guy. Two of them on the line. A lot, of, a lot of line switching going on there. Uh, John25, thank you for 56 months. Look at this town, look at that. This place is insane. See how that works out. A lot of food. I don't know, Toby. It depends on what you want from life. Food trucks. This is quite a busy place, this. Stinger, thank you for 52. Look at this station. It's fantastic. This is one. 865. You can see these skyscrapers from miles away.
core bus network is okay. Probably needs to think about moving over here soon, though. It's a big old town. Uh, can you separate gas from food on the truck station or not? If you want to, you could build another truck station here. And then when you connect, the way the game works is it looks at what line connections it's possible, right? So if you've got two truck stations here and this one is connected to deliver fuel, but this one isn't, then when the train comes in, it will drop it here. It won't drop it here because it has no onward connection. So you can control it that way by virtue of the line connections that you make. Uh, yeah, 1996 down there. Where's our vintage boat? There he is. 1996 and still going strong. And everybody who gets on board is still dressed like they're in 1918. <laughs> like literally nobody dresses like this in 1996. <laughs> 98 years old? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like a, a role-playing boat. It's like, if you want to come on this boat, you have to dress like you're from 1910. Yeah, exactly. It has a dress code. It's like a role-playing boat. They do little Sherlock Holmes um, murder mysteries on board. Very themed. I like it. Just the one bolt. Probably makes like no money whatsoever. 901 residents, right. Quality is some. So there's overcrowding somewhere. So I can figure out where. Probably here. There you go. Virginia train, passengers AC. Overcrowded. Big time. 16 passenger. Okay. Nineteen more. Virginia tools. I'm tempted to replace these with some Amazon Primes. Oh, where is it? Where's the Amazon Prime truck? Wait, you can still do horse and cart? That's insane. Oh, Cascadia repaints. Here we go. That's how you do it. Walmart. What do you reckon for tools? Amazon Prime. many passengers on the bus. Do it for delivery next day. Lol. Where are they? That's the question. Is that one? That's one of them. Okay. Overcrowding's coming down a bit. You plan on playing the new Sherlock Holmes? Um, when does it come out? You know, here he is. <laughs> Amazon Prime, look at this. Bring in all the tools.
Uh, trams not necessarily matter. It's more about emissions and stuff. Because they're all electric, they don't pollute. Tools, getting materials, getting connections. Emissions are obviously going to be there all the time. Nice. Right. Let's see who's taking all of our money. Oh, it's the big boy. What a surprise. Right, I need to figure this one out. What's going on with this? Why is that con mat losing money? Ann Arbor con mat. They're getting four out of 69. What is going on? Are they just not connected at the other end? They're not connected, are they? It's always a classic sign. We're, we're bringing Conmat into here, but we're not actually dropping it off anywhere. So the only Conmat that goes into Ann Arbor is like people driving over and picking it up, which is not a recipe for success at all. Sometimes things just get overlooked. Construction materials. Hmm. Stick them on a Martin transport. I think stick them on the back of his tarp truck, to be honest. That should help. It's amazing how the lack of uh, trucks can cause the whole train line to cost a mid, like two million dollars lost a year. Home Depot, yeah, I should have done Home Depot. Yeah, I should have done that. Let's see if that changes things. Oh, oh well, look, they're suddenly getting more allocation. <laughs> That should now go up. That might even level up now. That's interesting. One day I'll be a great gamer like you, Garden Data. It's not about being a great gamer. What does that even mean anyway? You're just enjoying yourself. This is your leisure time, mate. As long as you're having fun, doesn't matter. Oh, he's got seven on board. How many trains are there on that line? One. Theory, that's enough. There's two on that one, but they've got to go further, I think. Yeah, Temecula's there's a long way away. They're getting plenty. Supply's good there. Which train's in very bad condition? What, the one on an arbor? Uh, thank you, Lone Wolf. The one, the Ann Arbor combat line. That's to make it. I bet that's old as well. 19 years. Yeah. It's 
19 years, it's fine. I'll have a bit more to do when it gets back next time. Uh, Peltrip, how you doing? You're in lockdown. Rip. Right, I assume we fixed that line. What else have we got? Independence food. Ann Arbor. Passenger line. Not making money. What's going on? Why are you not making money? Not enough demand. I think the problem is Ann Arbor's a bit too small. It just doesn't have the um, the passengers, you know. Maybe just drop a train. It's not enough people want to go though. Yeah, it's got like 10 people, 15 people. Stitch one. Temecula can deal with it because it's, it's quite big, but Ann Arbor is... Annoyingly, Ann Arbor would be a lot bigger if, if we've been delivering materials properly. So yeah, it's been stunted growth because of that. Oh yeah, look at that now. Way more. That should climb. That's about to max out. Quarries not supplying everything yet. Okay, let's have a look at these trucks. Twenty-four years old. They've got the capacity for it easily. We don't need to add more. Yeah, I saw that Astro Steve. I was a bit concerned about using it because in the past with Transport Fever 1, whenever I've used mods that mess about with the um, production, they always kind of do weird things and break things. So I was a bit concerned about it. Like, I also don't want to have it. I'd love to have... I'd love to have it where the production facilities can increase to more levels, but equally, I don't want to have it make the game easier or just break the game because it's too much. If you see what I mean. Yeah, Baz, I think I might, I might take that one next time. Like having a city with three different materials in demand. Again, though, is that making the game easier? You know, like if this would take construction materials, I might have just done that instead. Like more inputs makes it easier in a way. So it's always a balance. Okay, how's the money doing? Okay, this is still losing money. This is still losing crazy amounts of money. A lot of these are losing money. I don't mind the buses. You lose on the buses, make it up on the trains. I don't mind that so much. of this oil industry in a while. Yeah, it's just maxed out.
Yeah. This is your favourite makes it harder. Industry expanded. Last updated May 2020. Wow. Expanded food. 13 new cargo types. Yeah, that definitely makes it harder. <laughs> you got to bring more materials in to make the end product, right? Shaky, thank you for two months. Hold me, thank you for 54. Recommend starting a new game if you're going to increase cargo types. Try using it a bit. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to shoehorn that in. Baz, I don't reckon it will, but we'll see. I don't think we'll get it. 99 years. I don't think we'll get it. I did have the mod to get achievements with mods, but I'm not convinced it's going to work. Need an airport in Detroit, why? I need to get Huntington Beach going. This, this whole corner of the map is dead. I need to get this going. Oh, and I haven't connected... Did I connect Birmingham? No, I haven't connected Birmingham properly. I think I said I was going to connect Birmingham. I don't think Detroit can take an airport very easily. It already has a lot of connections, to be fair. I don't think it's going to help it. What it needs is, like, more fuel and or goods. It's not getting enough material. Uh... I think Pups was putting a list of my mods together. I'm not sure what he did. <laughs> Lol, Hammer. I'm trying to remember what we was going to do with this. Oh my god, Temecula Grain's going insane. Hang on. Condition of Aircraft 5 is very poor. I think we said we're going to do a passenger run from Birmingham to Ann Arbor. I think. I think we're going to bring that. Yeah, that was it. I think there's a PAX platform here. There, there you go. There was a PAX platform here. I was going to swing it in. Hook it onto that line. And then it was going to punch through here get to there and swing that way I think I don't think it'd be very profitable because they're quite small but it would definitely help the town because Birmingham is not quite like the real thing shall we say help it grow a little bit. Let's get a bus service going. Tropical Midlands, I like it. stops on that side. 
that for when they grow a bit. Okay, that covers most of it. Uh, do city to city bus routes work in the game? Yes, we've got we've got one going on. They work fine. There's no reason why you couldn't just connect them with a road network. We already have a bus stop here, so you could just basically run a road all the way through there. Just upgrade that road and connect them that way. In fact, it might be a better option initially. Because they're quite small. Bring them a train later. Chris, see you later. So, if once you go down that road, we need to make sure there's enough capacity here. And then, probably want to think about having a reasonably high speed road out of town. So, we could go. Upgrade that. I'll just replace it entirely. to pause it otherwise I'll get very upset when I do this. make it kink the other way what's the magic key maybe just do that it'd be nice to have a delete mod that you can drag and mark multiple sections at once to that road. Duh. Link everything that way. Build a better bypass. Right, can we upgrade this tunnel? Yes. Lovely.
I'm still caught by that. That's the main thing. Okay, I think we can unpause it now. Okay, so now we can create the Birmingham bus road. So we go to the bus station clockwise that way. Anti-clockwise that way. Some buses allocated. Okay. And then we have a bus connection between these two if you've got to upgrade a section whereabouts something I never got Paul why two bus lines for one city all my city is absolutely fine with one um, I like it Baz it's more natural you could get away with one I think it would still work but the thing is like if you're a passenger I know it probably works in game Baz but if you're a passenger and you you're here and you want to go there if you only have a clockwise you've literally got to ride that line all the way around to get off near the end you know what i mean so if you've got both i don't know if it does it i don't know if it measures it but every passenger can get to their destination quicker if you're going clockwise and counterclockwise near the station you mean this i didn't want to upgrade that that's what you mean i wasn't going to upgrade that but i can do Right, that while we're on it makes a difference. Generator Bridge, thank you for 11 months. Near the farm. You don't mean that, do you? you mean that? Or do you mean this? Nah, I think the paddle boat's probably hit 100 years already. I don't think we'll get the achievement. See? It's already hit 100 years. It's already century old. You mean the road with the trees? You know about this? Oh, it needs to get to 2,000, I see. Oh, you're on about the fact that it's... I see what you mean. You mean it should be like that? Is that what you mean? Okay, fixed. Right, line. Let's do a line from Birmingham to Ann Arbor. some quick buses for this. What's the fastest bus we've got? One of these two.
Awesome car for that run, yeah. Obviously. I was wondering if I had any repaints for that, but I don't. Unfortunately. Congestion going on here. Right, that should help Birmingham grow a little bit. That should also increase Ann Arbor's connection count, which will help that grow a little bit. Not that there's anybody waiting <laughs> to take that bus, but hey ho. Country road will be bought by the council and downgraded if you don't buy it. Which country road? This one? Or do you mean this one? You mean this? I wonder if you tunnel this under here. There's no intersection. You want to do a first person view on the buses? I like how it's put the sign on it saying Birmingham, that's cool. Look at this hog in the middle lane. the auto save completely ruins it for us.
Is this the new SCS bus sim? No, that doesn't exist. Would a high-speed train be quicker, Matt? I think you've answered your own question with that one. Come back game. You see the council tried to take that road then. Yeah, Astro Steve, every time you play a game, you can just get better at it, right? What's the speed of that? 90. Fire ducts. Whoa! 225. That looks sweet. I got a dead bridge. I like that one. That, that, that's pretty slick, that. Some of these are pretty wicked. Uh, Darren, yeah, we'll be doing more videos next week. Oh, I like that. That's lovely. That wins. Even though they put the post in the wrong place, but hey ho, kind of everything. <laughs> yeah, the arch clips through the road. It's a bit frustrating. Meh. That's the question. There we go. Your OCD. Your OCD is now fixed, Mr. Aki. All is well.
and give him the new Volvo. Will you be given Lawnmower Simulator to go when it first comes out? Do you know what? They actually sent me. I have that game. One second. Lawn Mowing Simulator. There you go. I have the game in my Steam inventory. Look. I have the full game. I can click play and I can play it right now because I have the full game. But, but, I'm pretty sure, hang on, I was given an embargo date. I've got a feeling it's Monday. Lawn mowing. Okay, here we go. Please note, all content is embargoed until... 2 p.m. British summer time on Monday the 9th of August. So, I cannot show you that game until 2 o'clock on Monday. Which means what I'll probably have to do is record a video on Monday of it. Like a kind of a first look of it. Personally, I think it'll be a lot of pants. just because it's lawn mowing, right? I don't know. I, I just can't see how lawn mowing can be that entertaining, but I, I could be completely wrong. As far as I'm concerned, lawn mowing is, is built into farm sim. Draw squirrel logo, yeah. You can't even be bothered to mow your own lawn. I can't mow grass. I get hay fever. <laughs> right. Everything we're making, we're transporting, but there's not enough production here. So, we need to fix the supply chain. What have you seen the demo? It looks like you start mowing, but it will be more of a building and managing a company game. Okay. Really? Wait, what does Steam say? Store page. Experience the beauty and detail of mowing Great British Countryside in Lawn Mowing Simulator. The only simulator that allows you to ride an authentic and expansive roster of real-world licensed lawn mowers from prestigious manufacturers Toro, Skag, and Steger as you manage your business. Okay, so that, that very last bit there, as you manage your business. Lawn mowing sim wheel support update. They added wheel support on Thursday, apparently. What does that say? We're a few days from launch. We're here to deliver an update. Okay, the following wheels are officially supported. Logitech G920, 923, 929, blah, 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 blah. Farm Sim Controller. You see, it just doesn't say a lot about it. I just don't know. In the demo talks about hiring people to do jobs. Okay. So it's kind of a, a, a bit of a tycoon game then, but also mow your own grass. That's what I'm taking from this.
Is it a good idea to have four tracks? Um... It doesn't always work out that way if you do that. Um, it's almost like you have to have one eye on what's next, you know? I, I've done that where you put a central set of tracks in the middle and then you never use them. I would say when you're building a station, right? Like if you're building a station here, think about where you might want to connect later and then put the tracks down based on that. And also your money. Um, <clears throat> Darren C, do you have any plans to resume flying IRL? I got my medical. I went flying with an instructor two weeks ago, so I've been refreshed on flying. I'm going flying with an instructor in two weeks' time to go in the PA-28 and get a refresher on that as well. Because I want to see... I want to see if I want to fly the PA-28 more or, or the Cessna 172, 172 more. And also, I had um, Durka message me the other day, and we had a quick chat, and he's based near Goodwood. So I kind of want to plan a flight down to Goodwood, get Durka on a plane and take him flying. I got my license in 2019, Ask event. I started training in 2017 and got licensed in 2019. One hundred and one years. I'm proud of that. No, I was due to go over to Europe in the plane um, in the April of 2020. So I had the I had it booked for like two three months to do the flight to France and learn how to do it, and then COVID came and messed it all up. So realistically, the instructor's going to do the the cross-channel um, stuff again, but realistically, I think it might be next year before we do that. I, I have a night license, yes, but I don't tend to do it because my the airfield I fly out of, uh, you can't land after 6 p.m. because they don't have landing lights or a license to operate at night. I think we can probably ditch a couple of these and replace them. Replace the rest with more modern buses. I think 2000 brings an insane amount of vehicles, yeah. How come you don't stream more flights in? I don't know. Busy doing this? Why don't I stream more Euro Truck? Why don't I stream more My Summer Car? I mean, you could just like 50 games, you could say, why don't you play more of that? And whichever one I play, somebody will say, why don't you play more of this other one? <laughs> There's more games in the world than we have time to play. So I just play what I fancy. 
simple. Let's get rid of that one. Sixty-five years old. What on earth? That's a fuel truck, isn't it? Oh no, Conmar. Conmar. Tarpaulin truck. The gas 3307. Do it. <laughs> A lot of battle cattle. That is very true. Content creators can never satisfy their audience. That is very true. Tap all in truck. It's for grain. seem to be sat around a lot. Uh, Kev, thank you for 10 months. So Ropey, thank you for 22. Crude oil trucks. It's an all like automatic upgrade thing because this is crazy. It's all trains now, look. Yeah, it used to be in TF1, not in TF2. They couldn't be bothered. Oh my god, it just goes on. On and on. Why can't you bring up a screen that says, if you've got this kind of truck here, just swap them all for this one. You can set up auto replace per line. I have to go around every line and do that. That's just as tedious. <laughs> Micromanagement for the win, indeed. Oh, the swamp boat. 48-year-old swamp boat. Look at him, still going strong. Like, if you want to replace these, passenger, your options are something like that, like a hovercraft. Oh, they can do quite quick now. They never used to be able to. That could do 90. Nah, let's just do that. Well, the year 2000 just landed, and we've now got the Speedens Express, the Q400. What a lovely plane. The Škoda Tram. Well, I didn't see the Steam Achievement, did you? I'm not entirely surprised, though.
Is that a tram? That's a tram, isn't it? Blimey. That looks like one of those. Let's chuck a Skoda in there, why not? I think we've replaced most of the um, road vehicles with modern stuff. How you doing? This is insane. Trucker Pat, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for gifting five subs. Can we get some squirrel gifting chat for him? Thank you. Just got a sub. He's the man to thank. Right, so we need to look at this, for example, which is 63 years old, hauling crude, and still somehow making some kind of a profit. This is the, uh, the train that runs uh, break-even. It's just moving extra crude around for the rest of the circuit to pick up on. So we need one of them. It's got 11 tanks on the back. Well, I don't know how big they are. It's got the Alco, but I don't know how many tanks, how big the tanks are. Probably the older ones. one of these in Alco PA. Needs a big boy, does it? I've got a feeling... Has it got 11 of them, do you think? Hundred and thirty two capacity. Yeah, it's not got them on. Because eleven of them is way more than 132. Let's replace it with that. Metro liner or the S Speed and Express. Look at the running cost on that. Nine million dollars. Oh my god. The finances are very good, but I don't know if we can support all that. Like nine million dollars times that many. I don't think so. I guess you could run fewer trains. If you hover over your mouse on the train at replace window, it will say the name of the car. Well, it showed me the name of the loco, but not the actual path, um, tanker. Adipaz, what's the capacity on this? 
152. Last time that, it's 102. It's quite a quick line, isn't it? Okay, so what if we have four of them? Wait, how big is this? 200 meters. Oh, see ya. <laughs> I just hit the turbo button. See ya. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> He's out of the... Hang on, there's a lot of passengers here. Virginia's quite big. Well, we just need something, maybe a few more and a bit more capacity. Probably a metro liner, maybe. Man, this has got all the high-speed trains coming into it now. Look at it. Look at that electricity bill. This thing is quick. It always does an auto save in the middle of this. I hate it. Over 200 k's. How much does he get paid for that? $1.4 million. That's some ticket price. Look at the state of this. What's going on behind us here? Organising Mr. Squirrel's um, birthday stuff. So, yeah. I think Mr. Squirrel's going out. We're trying to, like, sneakily buy things. <laughs> you know what it's like. Alright, how are we getting on for packs over here now? 
Okay, that's calmed down a lot. That's nice. That's better. Who's this guy talking to? Personally, speech lol. Eight hundred sixty-nine thousand. That's not bad. Holy smokes! It's not one thing; it's another. Flipping, eh? Capacity. Once you get high speed trains, like you need more buses as well. How's that little tool thing working out? I thought they were split, to be honest, man. Yeah, one's gone on platform one, one's gone on platform two. Ninety-five percent transported. Still could do more stuff though. <laughs> Holy moly! Why are they all picking up and dropping in the same platform? Webbers, how you do, dude? <laughs> I apologize, the bot doesn't like caps too much. <laughs> how can we get these on different platforms completely? You go there. On three. You're on two. You should be on... One. Alright, log drop-offs now here. Plank pickups over there. Can they get round? That's the question. They look a bit dirty, these, aren't they? How many vehicles have we got? They can't... Have we just not got enough vehicles, or is because they couldn't do the pickup? Yeah, I'm not bad, Webbers, mate. I'm not bad. Doing okay. It's the weirdest turnaround thing ever. I'm 
hesitant to add more vehicles, but I'll do it. Okay. Right, we are three o'clock. I'm going to take a small break now. Gonna go and uh, stretch my legs and stuff. I'll be back in one hour's time. I think they're the biggest trucks we have, if I'm honest. I don't think they're any bigger. So yeah, I'll be back in one hour. So hopefully I'll see you then. But if you're heading out, then uh, I hope you had a good, e a good evening. Platform two. Platform three. There we go. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. Back in uh, just less than 60 minutes and we'll carry on then. Alrighty. Take it easy, guys. Bye for now.